and uh, welcome to Tarlac State University College of Criminal Justice Education. And my subject is Layer 1, Law Enforcement Organization and Administration Interagency Approach as provided by CMO 5 of 2018. And uh, allow me to discuss uh, the introduction and some topics of this subject. And by the way, this is a four-unit course at ang difference nito sa na unang layer under CMO 21 is it is this subject is more broader than before. And uh, ang subject description before is police organization and administration. Now, pinalitan ito ng law enforcement uh, organization and administration. Meaning, I, ang focus dito is not uh, only the Philippine National Police but also the other law enforcement agencies of this country. So again, welcome especially sa aking mga estudyante sa Leo 1 and uh, gagawin ko ang best ko for you to understand para mas madali nung maintindihan ang uh, pag-aaral natin dito sa subject nito. This is a basic course and one of the fundamental subject of criminology. Pag hindi nyo nakuha to, mahirapan ko yung makuha yung mga higher subjects pa ng inyong kurso. Okay, let me give my introduction about this course, Law Enforcement uh, Organization. Ang sabi dito, whenever a community is organized, it is imperative, it is important for the policing system to be established, to deal with crimes being committed by its members. So this is because a crime is already part of community. Whether we like it or not, ay hindi na po ito matatanggal. Kahit na sinong mga leaders pa yan, ano man ang ipangako niya, ay mag exist at mag exist At meron pa rin mangyayari at meron pa rin mangyayari krimen. Bakit ito ay parte na ng ating community? Ang sabi nga ng ibang author, it is one of the ingredients of community, yung crime, yung criminality. At kahit anong gawin, ay hindi mo na ito pwedeng alisin pa. And it can happen anytime, anywhere, unexpectedly like a calamity. That's why policy system is very important because ito ang nagko-control, ito ang nag-normalize, ito ang uh, pumipigil upang hindi maging ganon ka-agresibo o maging rampant ang criminality sa isang community or sa isang bansa. Now, it is right to consider crime as a social phenomenon. Kasi hindi yan nawawala. From time to time, generation to generation, ay makikita at makikita ang criminality. In the history of the international and the Philippine policy system, several things may be learned from the problems and mistakes that were encountered and committed in the past that may serve as a guiding stars in improving our present and future policy systems. No. There is no perfect policy system, even in the Philippines, sa ating bansa, even in other countries, ay walang perfectong policy system. But, napakahalaga na ma-establish at ma-develop ang policy system para mapigilan ang pagdami at pagkakaroon ng krimen. So, this chapter deals with the definition and evolution of police history of the police, the fundamental theories of police service, and the concepts concerning police service, and the concept concerning police planning. So yung topic one natin is the guide in organizing effective police service. So what is the difference between police and the law enforcement agency? Police means an agency of community or government that is responsible for enforcing the law, maintaining public orders, and preventing and detecting crimes. So yan yun, more on 
uh, enforcement, prevention, and uh, maintaining public orders. While law enforcement agencies is more broader. Why? Because it includes other agencies under the executive branch of the government, like the Bureau of Fire, Bureau of Jail Management, the NBI, ano pa, yung MMDA, uh, BIR, yung DNR, DENR, DSWD, lahat ng yan ay meron silang mga laws exclusively sa kanilang mandates. And the moment na ini-enforce nila ito at kailangan nila ng enforce, they are also considered as law enforcement agency. But they are limited only sa kanilang mandate, sa kanilang uh, laws specific sa kanilang organization. But the Philippine National Police o yung police organization natin, their mandate is to enforce the Philippine law, maintain public order of our country, and prevent and detect crimes not only in one community but in the whole society, in the whole country ay sila ang merong concern. So ganyan po ang di differences ng dalawang ito, police and law enforcement agencies. Now, what are the different police activities? Number one is prevention of crimes. Pag sinabi natin prevention of crimes, this activity is intended to prevent the root causes of crime. Meaning, while hindi pa nangyayari yung krimen, ay pinipigilan na na mangyari ito. Wala pang krimen, hindi pa nagawa ang certain crime na ito ay gumagawa na ng paraan para hindi mangyari. That is prevention of crimes. And then we have the repression or suppression of crimes. Repression or suppression of crimes, it means existing na ang krimen, nangyari na yan sa community, nage-exist na yan, at ang gagawin ngayon ng, ng kapulisan o ng law enforcement agency is to reduce the opportunity na mangyari o dumami o lumaganap ang kriminalidad. Okay, so yung prevention, wala pang krimen at dahil uh, gumagawa na ng paraan ay hindi na ito mangyayari. Sa repression o suppression, existing ng law ang, ang krimen at ang gagawin ay yung mga bagay, mga activities para mabawasan o hindi na lumaganap ang krimen na yun. Now, in apprehension of offenders, ito ang other term ng uh, arrest. So, pag nang may nangyaring krimen, of course, ang next na gagawin is maaresto, mahuli kung sino yung gumawa ng krimen. And that is called apprehension of offenders. Number four is the conduct of search and seizure. Pag uh, halungkat, paghanap at pagkuha ng mga uh, evidences that can be used para sa kanilang conviction ng offender na ito. And then investigation of crimes. And number six is protections of lives and properties. So, Protections of lives and properties is one of the mandates of the Philippine National Police to safeguard, to protect the lives and of course to secure and to protect the properties. Now, what is the difference between police and policeman? The term police is not the same with the policeman. Although ito ay madalas na nagagamit interchangeably but police refers to the agency the organization itself the association itself while the policeman refers to the person employed in the agency policewoman policeman patrolman patrolwoman police officer so lahat ng yan officials ang tawag is policeman
The former is a juridical person, police is an organization, while the latter is a natural person. Okay, policeman is a natural person. Dito tayo ngayon. Fundamental theories of police service. There are two fundamental theories of police service. One is the home rule theory. Ano ba, di, ano, ano ba ang meron dito sa home rule theory? Ang sabi dyan, policemen are regarded as servants of the community. Ang sabi ni Pinoy, kayo ang boss ko. Meaning, ang mga kapulisan ay naglilingkod hindi sa mga leaders ng government kundi sila ay nagsiserve sa community. Ito yung pagiging supremacy ng civilian over sa kanila bilang kapulisan. So, policeman as regarded of, regarded as the servant of the community who rely for the efficiency of their function upon the, the express needs of the public or the people. Okay? Their main concern their main mandates, their main reason why they exist is because of the express needs of the people. That is home rule theory. Another, sabi dito, policemen are civil servants whose key duty is the preservation of public peace and society. They are civil servant, public servant. Hindi sila mataas, kundi ang kanilang boss, ang kanilang pinaglilingkuran ay walang iba kundi ang mga tao. Yun ang principle ng home rule theory. Now, the other theory is the continental theory. Continental theory uh, is a theory or principle wherein policemen are regarded as state or servants of the higher authorities. Okay? So meaning naglilingkod uh, sila not because of the public but because or within the pleasure of their bosses. Okay? Policemen are regarded as the state or servants of the higher authorities and the people who have no share or have little participation with the duties nor connection with the police organization. Sa Pilipinas, ang uh, ino-observe natin dito is the continental theory and of course the home rule theory but sa Pilipinas, between the two, ang theory na sinusunod natin is the home rule theory. Okay? Yan po yung ating pinaka-main reason na ang kapulisan natin ay naglilingkod not for the pleasure of the higher authorities but para doon sa benefits at doon sa kapakanan ng mga tao for their safety for their interest, for their security. Okay, so sa Pilipinas, home rule theory, not continental theory. Now, fundamental concepts of police service. Kanina, theories. Now, we have this one fundamental concept of police service and first is the old concept. Ano tong old concept na ito? Ang sabi dito, police service gives the impression of being merely a suppressive machinery. Suppressive. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila preventive, kundi suppressive. Hayaan mo nang may mangyari ng krimen, and then saka sila kikilos. Kung walang krimen na nangyayari, wala silang gagawin. That is suppressive. Diba yung kanina, uh, repression or suppression of crimes? So, old concept is more on suppression. Now, sabi dito, 
This philosophy advocates that the measurement of police competence is the increasing number of arrests, throwing offenders in detention facilities rather than trying to prevent them from committing crimes. So, ano ginagawa nila? Hayaan nila na may mangyaring krimen at yung basis ng kanilang success, yung basis ng kanilang efficiency and effect, uh, ano yung pagiging effective sa kanilang service ay nakabase dito sa increasing number of arrests. Kapag ka maraming arrest, na maraming na-aresto na criminals, they are effective. Pagka maraming krimen na nasusolve, they are effective. Rather than, ang sabi dito, rather than trying to prevent them from committing crimes. Okay? So, yun yun. They are passive. They are, uh, hindi sila proactive. Doon, doon sa pag-i-implement ng batas, sa pag-i-enforce at pag-i-ensure ng public safety. All they want is more on accomplishment through the arrest of offenders. Okay? Next, modern concept. Modern concept regards police as the first line of defense of the criminal justice system. They are the initiator, they are the frontliner, and the first line of defense of the criminal justice system. In the Philippines, we have five pillars of criminal justice system at ang pinakauna dyan ay walang iba kundi ang law enforcement pillar or the police pillar we have the prosecution, court, correction and the community so ang pinaka first line of defense is no other than the law enforcement or the police pillar so dito, in modern concept they regard themselves, the police as the first line of defense of the criminal justice system an organ of crime prevention. Okay? Tinan natin. Another, police efficiency is measured by the decreasing number of crimes. Meaning, kung walang krimen, they are effective. Kapag ka nababawasan, nababawasan yung, yung criminality sa isang community, sa isang society, ay yun yung kanilang basis that they are effective and efficient. So, modern concept ang tawag kong ganun. Hindi padamihan ng pag-aresto, kundi pakuntian ng krimen na nangyayari sa isang community ang basis nila para sila ay maging effective at maging efficient in their policing system. Okay? The public look at policemen as more effective in the absence of crimes. So sa Pilipinas, ang basis natin is modern concept. Nakapagka mas konti ang criminality ay mas effective at mas efficient ang ating kapulisan. Okay, so dalawa yan. Kanina sa churis, we have the continental churis and the home rule churis. And the Philippines Yung ating bansa, our country, ang sinusunod, ang, ang concept natin is home rule jury. We are, they are serving the public or the community, not the higher authorities. Now, dito naman sa concept of police service, ang sinusunod ng ating bansa, ng ating uh, police organization is the modern concept, meaning, na may measure ang kanilang efficiency and effectiveness kapag ka konti or walang nangyayaring timet sa community or sa society. Now, basic terminologies in police planning. And number one is authority. What is authority? Authority means the right to command and control the behavior of employees in lower positions within an organizational hierarchy. Ang, ang authority is always pa-elevate. Okay? Ay, always pababa. Okay? Meaning, ang authority laging nangyayari o nagmumula yan from the top, pababa. Hindi, mo pwede, hindi pwede magkaroon ng authority 
Mula sa baba, pataas. No, hindi. Ang, ang dapat doon is obedience. From the bottom to the top. But from the top to the bottom, it must always be the authority. So authority is the right to command and control the behavior of employees in lower positions within an organizational hierarchy. Another is a particular position within an organization carries the same regardless of who occupies that position. Meaning, every position in the police organization or in any organization ay merong kaakibat na authority at nandoon nakahayag doon yung authority at yung limitation ng kanilang authority meaning hindi nakabase sa kung sino ka o ano ang pagkatao mo ay doon ibabase ang authority na meron ka no ang authority ay nakabase kung anong classing position ang meron ka o nahawak mo so ibig sabihin ang authority ay nakapaloob doon sa position at hindi doon sa tao na nailagay doon sa position okay nakalimit siya kung anong classing position meron ka Now, delegation of authority. Delegation of authority is a conferring of an amount of authority by a superior position to a lower level position. Delegation. Ibinibigay mo yung ibang trabaho, ibang responsibility mo sa tao. Dinedelegate mo yan sa mapagkakatiwalaan mo. Now, Kaakibat ng delegation na yon, ng responsibility is also kaakibat no ng authority. Pag binigyan mo siya ng trabaho, dyan sa trabaho yan ay binibigyan mo siya ng authority. That, but take note of this, a superior may delegate some of his duties to his subordinates. Said superior is however responsible for the neglect of his subordinates concerning sa accountability let's say binigyan mo yung tao ng dinelegate mo sa kanya yung some duties and of course some authority sa kanya pero pag yan ay pumalpak nagkaroon ng problema ikaw na nasa higher authorities na nagdelegate ng duties dun sa tao ikaw ang merong accountability doon sa iyong subordinates. Hindi mo pwede siya ang sisihin mo, kundi ikaw na higher authority, ikaw pa rin ang siyang merong accountability. Okay? So that is delegation of authority. Now, management. Management is the process of directing and facilitating the work of people Organize in the formal groups in order to achieve objectives. Judicious or wise use of resources, manpower, material, money, equipment, supplies, time, and etc. It is the process of directing and facilitating the work of people to become organized, <coughs> to become a more uh, effective yan ang trabaho ng management every details I you are ensuring that uh, smooth flow ang takbo management okay next organization it is a group of persons working together for a common goal or objective so that is the hint a group of persons working together for a common goal or objectives. Pag yan ay nagkasama-sama at walang sinusunod na goal and objective, you, we, you cannot consider it as an organization. Baka nagchichismisan lang yan or kung ano lang ang ginagawa. 
So organization is a group of persons working together for a common goal or objectives. It is a form of human association for the attainment of a goal or objective. Okay, next. Police. Police means a branch of the criminal justice system under the law enforcement pillar that has the specific responsibility of maintaining law and order and combating crime within the society. Okay? At sa atin, ang pangalan ng ating police organization sa Pilipinas ay Philippine National Police, formerly known as the PCINP or the Philippine Constabulary Integrated National Police. Now, police organization is a group of trained personnel that promotes the maintenance of peace and order, protection of life and property, enforcement of laws, and prevention of crimes. Okay, so very clear. Now, police accountability. It means that it is the inherent responsibility of police organization to be answerable for the misconduct committed by its members. Kaya kung uh, may ginawang kalukuhan ng kanyang subordinate ng ating police organization, ang pinakamerong accountable doon ay yung pinakamataas because he is the head of the organization and whether he likes it or he likes it or not, ay mananagot siya. Bakit? Because nasa kanya ang accountability at ang buong organization ang siyang magsasuffer. Always remember, ang ating kapulisan is a uniform organization. Meaning, iisa ang kanilang uh, uh, organization, iisa ang kanilang uh, suot, iisa ang kanilang identity, at kapag ka, kahit isa lang na gumawa ng kalukuhan at na-identify yan na member ng ating police organization, ang buong police organization ang siyang magsasuffer. Okay? So ganyan po ang uh, kahirap ang accountability dito po sa police organization. Now, Police functions refers to the duties and responsibilities carried out by police agencies concerning public order and public safety. So yan po yung trabaho niya. More on public order, safeguarding lives and property, maintenance of peace and order, ensuring yung uh, security ng, ng community and uh, ng public. Now, police power is the inherent power of the government to impose restriction on the liberty of its citizens. Ang ating gobyerno po ay binigyan ng tatlong power sa ating uh, constitution. And ang isa dyan ay ang police power intended to impose reasonable restriction on the liberties of its citizens and for the maintenance of public order and safety. Yung pangalawa is yung, yung power of taxation. Okay? It is more on uh, taxes na lahat ng pwedeng bigyan ng tax ng gobyerno ay binigyan sila in empower ang government to do that. And yung third is yung the power of the eminent domain na kung saan kung ito ay for public use like for example yung daan at kailangan ng mag road widening at mag or mag expand or gagamitin for public use then ang gobyerno ay binigyan ng 
ng power or authority to demand doon sa mga public owners para ibigay yung kanila uh, properties with uh, corresponding minimal payment. So that is uh, the power of eminent domain. So dito, police power is the inherent power of the government to impose reasonable restriction on the liberties of its citizens. Okay? Next, hierarchy is the representation of the formal relationship among superiors and subordinates in any given organization from top to bottom bottom and from bottom to uh, top kung ano yung relationship ng bawat isa from superiors to subordinates and from subordinates to their superiors next hierarchy serves as the framework for the flow of authority downward and obedience upward through the department authority downward and obedience upward hindi pwedeng obedience downward and authority upward hindi po ganun ang authority magmumula sa taas pababa ang obedience magmumula sa baba pataas okay various units of police organization there are three various units in uh, police organization number one we have functional units we have line units and geographical or territorial units now ano itong functional units na ito? ang functional units ay makikita natin dito like for example yung bureau and then division, section, unit. Now, pag sinabi natin bureau, bureau means it is the largest organic functional unit within a large department. Okay? It is a uh, largest functional unit within a large department. For example, Ang DILG is a large department. Okay? DILG, later on, we will discuss that. Yung konting idea about sa DILG. At ang DILG ay binubuo ng ilang mga bureaus. Okay? And uh, actually, this department is very powerful, influential, and ang sabi na nila kung ikaw ay naging secretary ng department na ito ay parang little president ka na rin kasi hawak mo ang lahat ng local government units and ang Philippine National Police kaya sa buong Pilipinas now sa isang department ang sabi ay binubuo ng bureaus so yung bureau is a largest organic uh, functional unit So ang DILG Is composed of Different uh, Bureaus like uh, The Philippine National Police That is only one bureau The uh, Napolcom is another bureau The Bureau of Fire Protection Bureau of Jail Management And Penology Philippine Public Safety College and the local government unit. So, anim. Anim na bureaus ang bumubuo sa malaking department na ito. Okay? So, makita natin. So, from one department ay binubuo siya ng napakarami or ng uh, ilang mga bureaus. Sa, sa, sa atin, ang PNP is only one of the bureau of the PIL, of the DILG Department of Interior and Local Government Another So sa isang bureau ay binubuo siya ng mga division So division means it is a primary subdivision of a bureau Okay 
So sa, sa Philippine National Police, yung, yung police organization natin ay binubuo siya ng ilang mga bureau. Sa actually, maraming mga di division ang bumubuo sa Philippine National Police. Now, in one division ay binubuo siya ng mga sections. Like, for example, ang ibig sabihin ng section is a unit within a division. Kanina, division is one area of bureau. Ang section is one unit of division. Ang unit is one area of section. Pag sinabi natin unit, it is a functional group within a section and it is the smallest functional group within an organization. Okay, so ang tawag dyan ay functional units of police organization. Okay, in one department, binubuo ng bureau. In one bureau, binubuo ng mga division. In one division, binubuo ng section. In one section, binubuo ng mga units. Now, next. Territorial units. Territorial units. <clears throat> Now, ang sabi dito, sa territorial units ay eto yung mga bumubuo. We have post, post, route, bid, sector, district, and area. Post means a fixed point. Okay? Or location to which an officer is assigned for duty. Okay. So makikita natin dyan, pwede sa police station, sa mga traffic posts. So yan ay considered as one territorial unit. Route means it is a line of streets designed for patrol purposes. It is also known as line B. Okay? So isang route yun, pwede sa Tarlac ay uh, portion ng, ng F. Taniedo or portion ng ng uh, MH Del Pilar so yung mga ganyan area and then B is an area assigned for patrol purposes whether by foot or by vehicle and B is composed of two or three routes so yan yung description yan binubuo ng dalawa o tatlong routes na pwede Pagpatrolan either by foot or by uh, vehicle. Ang sector is composed of two or more bits, routes, or posts. Kanina yung bit is composed of two or more routes. Ang sector naman ay binubuo ng two or more bits mas malaki including routes including uh, posts and then we have the district district means geographical subdivision of a city for patrol purposes malawak and usually it is composed of two or more sectors so ganyan po ang Uh, ano natin ang district and of course an area last is an area it is a territorial division of a large city okay so yan yung mga territorial units natin now we have the line type organization the kinds of organizational structure iba po ito ah Kinds of organizational structure. So, meron tayong tatlo dyan. We have the line, and then we have the line and staff, and then we have the so-called, uh, kung hindi daw nakakamali, is functional uh, organizational structure. Now, in line type police organization, ang sabi dito, it is a straight line organization with which often called the individual, military, or departmental type of organization. Okay? The oldest and simplest kind, also called military. Now, 
Under this line type police organization, it is defined by its clear chain of command from the highest to the lowest and vice versa. Meaning, ang, ang directives, ang lahat ng, ng mga decision, yung operation, command, ay nanggagaling mismo doon lamang sa pinakataas. Pababa lagi yun. Meaning, walang rights na mag-decide. Yung iba, lagi yan nasa pinakataas. Okay? Next. Dito naman sa line and stop type of police organization, it is a combination of the line and functional kind. Meaning, it combines the flow of information from the line structure with the stop departments that service, advise, and support them. Generally, more formal in nature and has many departments. So, ibig sabihin nun ay distributed na, delegated na yung authorities. Hindi lamang yung pinakataas ang magdi-decide, kundi in every department, they have their authority, they have their rights na magbigay ng directives, ng command, doon sa span of control nila, doon sa kanilang subordinates. Okay? And then, we have the functional type police organization. Ano naman ito? Structure according to function and specialized units. The fixed staff functions of the organization. Responsibilities are divided among authorities who are all accountable to the authority above. Now, ano ang sinusunod ng Pilipinas? Ang sinusunod natin dyan ay walang iba kundi ang line and staff uh, function. Okay? Line and staff organizational structure. Nakadivide na ang mga authorities who are all accountable to the authority above. Kaya kung ikaw ay head ng isang division, so meron kang authority delegated sa iyo ang iyong uh, duties and uh, obligation and yung iyong authorities, powers, but meron din kaakibat na accountability pag ikaw ay na-assign sa ganyong position. Okay? Next, function of police administration. Function of police administration. Number one is planning. Okay? Planning is very important, especially doon sa a direction ng isang organization. So planning means the determination in advance of how the objectives of the organization will be attained. Okay? The determination in advance of how the objectives of the organization will be attained. That's why from time to time nagkakaroon ng planning uh, every quarter, every year end or before mag-start ng taon ay meron plano yan long term, short term, medium term so that dito kasi na-determine kung saan ang direction ng, ng ating organization and it is uh, imperative it is important na magkaroon ng, ng uh, talagang comprehensive plans pagpaplano para doon sa kapakanan at sa direction ng ating uh, organization. It is the process of selecting goals and determining how to achieve it. It is the process of setting performance objectives and identifying the actions needed to accomplish it. Okay? Then after planning is organizing. Meaning, hindi lang, hindi lang puro plano. Hindi lamang puro in principle. But uh, one of the function of police administration ay lahat ng mga pinaplano ay nagkakatotoo. Yung mga strategies na binabanggit sa planning ay dapat na i-apply. So, ang tawag dyan is organizing. It involves the determination and allocation of men and women concerning manpower. Gaano karaming tao ang kailangan 
gano'ng maraming pondo ang kailangan ini ay ina-identify mo lahat dito sa organizing as well as the resource of an organization to achieve predetermined goals or objectives of the organization. Now, it is also the process of making an organization fit with its objectives, okay? resources and environment. So lahat ng yan ay na, na, tinatrabaho o nakikita na gagawa through organizing. Next, we have directing. Directing means the overseeing and supervising of human resources. Meron ang kasabihan, kapag ka wala ang pusa, naglalaro ang mga daga. So meaning, pepetics, petics, or hindi yan magtatrabaho, total walang nagda-direct sa kanila. But ang sabi dito, one of the purpose, function of directing is to oversee and to supervise human resources, to su supervise manpower and the various activities and organization to achieve through cooperative efforts the predetermined goals or objectives of the organization. It is the process of giving orders command, directives, or instruction to personnel in order to rule them in accomplishing the goals or objectives of an organization. Yan po yung uh, ilan sa mga function ng police organization. Siguro, dito muna natin ikakat yung ating discussion. We will continue our discussion next video. At uh, I hope na sa simple discussion na ito ay uh, naging madali unawain ng bawat isa, especially ng aking mga estudyante sa Leia 1, mga first year students. Okay? So, magtatapos ako dito. We will continue this to the next video na i-upload ko sa YouTube. Please, uh, manood kayo. Ito ang magiging uh, basis ng discussion natin uh, apart dito sa MS Teams at sa Messenger. Again, this will be the basis of your uh, recitation and uh, quizzes and of course the basis of our uh, major exam. So again, thank you and God bless.